talk shit and <laughs> oh, wait, are we allowed to swear? You can oh, swear. Yeah, okay. swear as much as you want. <laughs> Sometimes Rachel's mom's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom. Just so write your comments below. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm Malcolm. And this, this is Help, Help Us. Us. So, today, as you guys can tell, we are in a new location. Um, this happens to be Malcolm's shop. It's known as the Light Cellar in Calgary. Tell us a little bit about the Light Cellar. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me on the show. Thanks for watching. Super stoked to just, yeah, converse, chat. Let us know where the Light Cellar started. How it became the light cellar. Yeah. Even before the light cellar was a glimmer in my eye, first I just met my soon-to-be wife. Well, at first, it's like, actually, really, it just stop. <laughs> she lit up the cellar. She was just Aww. so full of light. I'd already started kind of my health journey. I started when I was 16 years old, being a vegetarian and saving the world. I had no idea what I was doing. Suddenly realized, uh oh, <laughs> yeah. there's a little bit more to this food piece. Because I went vegetarian, actually, at that time, it just drove me to eat more sugar, no energy. Get into Whole Foods, start on that journey. And after high school, after college, after some traveling, and at this time, I happened to be working at Community Natural Fruits. Who is this beauty that's working in the till? <laughs> Such began our courting, we got together. She grew up in a household where they all had allergies, like the laundry aisle of a grocery store, because by the time she got to the end, Laura would be bright red and screaming. My wife, she's a second generation colon hydrotherapist. So when we first met, one of our, and not literally, it wasn't the first day, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I got a clonic. Um, <laughs> Amazing. I'm not a big guy, but I lost five pounds on a weekend. Yeah, clonics are insane. You know, meeting her and getting exposed to, you know, her world just, just took it that much deeper. Took off again, we went traveling, we came back, we're pregnant. I knew a shift was coming in terms of picking a path, picking a direction. Yeah, I would need to be a provider. I was at this crossroad, I studied nutrition to become a baker. I'm really glad I didn't choose baking school. I went to nutrition school and that kind of solidified that direction for me. Ended up uh, teaching, that's a big passion of mine. So when I went back to Calgary, we would teach workshops. And as I was doing that, a lot of the foods and ingredients that I'd become familiar with and were working with didn't exist here in Calgary. There was one store in town that sold cacao powder. So I'd been in the States, I had access to sources, been working with it, and I was like, order this for myself at the very least. You know, okay, 10 pound order, I'll, I'll get some, I'll take most of it, share it with friends. And then it would be two weeks later, middle of the week, someone would be like, hey, you know, love class, uh, I'm just in your neighborhood, you know, can I come on by? Because we did this all of our houses initially. But as that, as the kind of the reputation grew and more and more people like this, you know, these Wednesday afternoons and in the neighborhood just kind of kept picking up. And so we're like, okay, we decided to open officially uh, a Sunday a week out of our house, and that was just getting me too much. We became known as the superfood dealer. We made the leap, we're here in Bonas, we've been here for, you know, almost almost a decade. It's been a nice slow growth, so not only in terms of the products that we offer, mainly first started with superfoods, that to me made the biggest difference in my health journey. You define a superfood for whatever you want, you know, if something's super for you, awesome, go for it. But it's, you really have to feel it and, and experience it, and that's going to be as a result of it's got unique, exceptional properties. Um, so on one spe end of the spectrum, we got a food. We can take apple, as a quintessential example. That phrase, apple a day, keeps the doctor away. Great, wonderful food value, vitamins, minerals, calories, fiber, all that good nourishment. But let's be honest, an apple doesn't really change your day or blow your mind, right? Yeah. Um, other end of the spectrum, you have a herb, something like echinacea. Mm -hmm. So a, a herb has no food value. There's no vitamins, there's no minerals, there's no calories, it's there specifically to create a physiological shift in your body. Whether it's boost your immune system or whatever that is, um, so you can see that those two are separate. Now there is something, I believe, in the middle, which is what I describe as a superfood. So something like the goji berry, number one food in Chinese herbal medicine. It's got food value, it's got protein. In fact, it's got all your amino acids, it's got antioxidants, it's got vitamins, minerals. You can eat it, enjoy it as a food, but it also has a herb-like strength. So people who consume goji's or maca or, you know, XYZ, whatever the superfoods are, mm -hmm. you can really feel the shift. Unlike, hey, just eat more apples. Um, it's got that herb-like strength, herb-like potency, 
but it can be used and integrated just like a food. My whole game and whole approach is, is what can you add in? When I first got into food nutrition, and, and I'm sure there's many that are watching that maybe can relate, I'm kind of the 110%, you know, it's like I go all the way and all the extreme, turn my life upside down. For better or worse, I mean, it was a low, a long, slow journey for, for learning. Uh, I don't necessarily see that as the best method, especially for everyone. Uh, but if we can add in things that are going to give people benefits right away, you know, whether it's relief or greater strength or energy, whatever it is, that provides the momentum and that provides the inspiration and without trying to radically change the diet. And that's how this place has grown, is people experiencing not only the foods, but the connection, the service, the education, uh, the care, really. And we've just been expanding the offering from superfoods now into herbs, medicinal mushrooms, which are getting really popular. People are really stoked on those. So we have, you know, over 1,500 different unique items you really can't find most anywhere else in town. Along with that selection, we want to teach people and empower them how, how to use it, how to integrate it in, right? We have our learning kitchen, people can come, they can learn. You know, we're also doing lots of videos online as well. One thing that everyone can't really see, obviously because we're kind of just stationed over at the bar here, is that this is a really large space. So as Malcolm was just saying, they've got like a learning kitchen upstairs, there's a whole production area upstairs where they create a lot of stuff in-house. So it's quite an impressive space. As he's telling his story, it's really nice to see like how far we've come in just like a short amount of time. So he just launched a book recently on elixirs. It's just kind of showing us his journey as well and like how far he's come in less than a decade actually. As far as your book goes, you know, it focuses a lot on elixirs. And we're yeah. actually having some right now. Yeah. All right. Um, so what can, what, what can you tell us about the book? So elixirs are one of those best delivery systems. It brings together, what I like to say, the best in modern nutrition with ancient herbal wisdom. And people throughout time, throughout all cultures, have used plant medicine, right? It's been the people's medicine. And there's such wisdom there that we need to reclaim. There's a time and a place for the medical industry, but you know, the people need something that we can access and utilize. Elixirs become about a delivery system as you learn and begin, it's a way to be able to integrate this in. And it's a fun craft. And there's probably like more a sense of fulfillment too when you're having something like that in the morning as opposed to just coffee. You probably get like a psychological fulfillment as well as you know, your body over time is definitely going to notice the difference. Yeah, absolutely. And, and one of the best things about elixirs is, is you can custom tailor it, right? So maybe you, you want to have that like kick of energy. You can build a drink with foods and herbs that are going to give you that energy. Yeah. We all have different stuff going on. We're doing different things, whether it's, you know, balance of hormones or it's, you know, like get gut issues. There again, you can customize using the right herbs for the right situation yeah. for you. So we've had so much fun here at the Light Cellar that we are going to put this in for a second episode too. So we do want to thank Malcolm for this week, but we will be seeing him again next week and we'll be talking more gut health and talking more about what they do here at the Light Cellar. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Join us on the next episode because we're going to keep going deeper and deeper, right? Yep. And make sure to like and subscribe and also follow Malcolm because you're going to learn a lot more by following him, not just from this episode. So. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Oh,